Okay, welcome back. In this video, we are going to be taking our property line um, and we're going to be converting it and modeling it in so that we can see it in 2D, 3D, section, and even elevation. So right now, you'll notice here, if I just kind of do a marquee around our site, you can see that I've actually modeled in or actually traced out a just a line work version of our property line here. So you can see that in this thick bold line coming through from our trace reference. Um, and then I've just taken a single line here and just kind of trace it out so that we get our property line in there. But we also have another option for this because right now currently, if we go to say one of these sections here, um, we'll just open with our current view settings, you'll notice that we can't see where our property lines actually are. And so in this case, for doing kind of our set our laybacks of our excavation, it's really useful to know exactly where those are. And that's where using a 3D property line really can uh, be nice. So um, over here, I have in my model content plan a, uh, a morph actually, which is a property line. And um, so this is set up where essentially we can just model in a what we're going to do is we'll just create kind of a bounding box here. Um, why this is, oh, you know what? I'm still on my uh, worksheet here. So I was going to do just a quick example off to the side, but scratch that. Let's uh, go back to our site plan. And we're just going to get this in here um, exactly where we want it. So because I've already traced out our property line, we can actually just use our magic wand tool here. Click on this. And then now we have a morph that is set up, in this case, it's set on our control property line layer. And um, we're just leaving this as unclassified for now. And so what we'll do is let's just do a uh, marquee around this entire site right now. We'll pull this up and there we can see that there is our morph that we had modeled in. So what we'll do next is let's just extrude this. And so I wanna do this so that we have this kind of coming all the way through our site and probably at least a few feet above our site here. So we'll just take it to right about there. And so this is great. Um, if we go back to our section, we can see that yes, we do have that property line coming through. Um, I actually think I want to set this down just a little bit lower. We'll pull it all the way down here. Um, we can go back to 3D and offset it up just a little bit higher. We'll take it up to our ground level. And okay, last step here, because I don't necessarily want this entire um, section showing up here. All I really want is the boundary, um, is let's just go here. We can or isolate this in 3D. And I'm going to hold down my shift and uh, control at the same time. And I'm selecting the face of that morph. And we'll just delete that face. And we'll delete the bottom. And there we go. We now have just kind of a, uh, a perimeter shell of our project. We can turn on everything here and now we can easily see it in 2D, 3D, in section. We now have this set up. It's a little bit cleaner now where we don't see this line cutting through at the top. If I unselect this here, you don't see that line cutting through, which is great. Um, all we see are our property lines on the edges there. So awesome. So that's essentially it for uh, setting up a 3D property line. Um, but that makes it really easy to see in, um, in multiple views. And now we have a really nice reference here for, um, for all of these here. So when we turn on and start having our project loaded up here, well, we don't have our property lines turned on. Let's uh, go in so we are on G10. Let's uh, just turn on our property line. So yes, it is turned on. Why are we not seeing it there? Was it maybe the... And oh, okay, there we go. It was set to demo. So with this, we just want to set this to our, our existing plan. And there we go. That's why we weren't seeing it. And uh, stupid mistake on my part. But uh, yeah, that happens sometimes. Always got to be careful what the settings are of our default elements when we go to model them. So um, obviously we're not demoing the property line. We want that it's showing up 
across all phases, which we now have. So there we go. We have our property line in there. All right. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. Uh, next video coming up, we are going to be talking through some different methodologies for modeling our subgrade excavations and uh, how to use some solid element operations to really cut out our excavation and uh, start dialing in the amount of earthwork that we have to excavate in this case. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe if you like this type of content and we will catch you on the next video.